Mr. Here with a war attack of the war. Best attack of the war. Let's just put it that way. Best attack of the war. Going to try and do this every war that we have. Best attack of the war. Share with you to show you the sort of attacks that we're doing. Now, what's interesting about this is Town Hall 11. So just to uh, have a little bit of a, a look at the thought of this attack. Kind of the thought. Divide the base into four sections, call them quarters or call them quadrants or something like that. You've seen me talk about this sort of thinking with hog attacks and some other things like that. If you can segment the base and deal with that section, deal with that section. Okay, so in this case here, I'll explain what's going to be going on. So we're going to have the heroes dealing with this little section here. We've got to deal with the town hall. The town hall is a weapon. Uh, you know it's going to be protected. It's not just going to sit here outside with a couple of archers. You, you could just know it's either going to have all four Teslas or at least a couple. There'll be some protection around the town hall. Okay, so we're going to have some funnel. We've got 10 minions. So we're going to try and have a little bit of funnel creation here as well. We've got two uh, Electro Dragons. So the Electro Dragons will also help create some of the funnel. And then we're going to have the Dragons coming in in this way. So the Dragons can come in this way. Now... We've got the spells, the bat spells, the dangerous bat spell, basically going to take out all of these weapons. So you can see different methodologies are being applied to each quadrant of the base. So dragons in this one, heroes in this quadrant, bat spells in this quadrant. That's leaving this quadrant, which is going to be destroyed by a combination of the clan castle uh, slammer, which is going to come in, do a little bit of damage. The bat spells, which are going to sort of path around and head over, and the dragons, which are going to path around and head over. Obviously, the heroes cannot get all inside of here, so dragons will path over, just as the bats will take out some of this to force the dragons to path this way, uh, with the slammer coming in that way. So basically, breaking the base down into four quadrants and then seeing how that can be worked with the bats to take out one quadrant, dragons with the other, heroes with the other. Anyway. Let's say that's enough of that. Let's just get into the attack to see how it transpired. We'll watch it a couple of times, I think, is a good idea. So you can see, dropped a minion there. or You've got some minions up here taking a bit of a funnel up the top. You've got the Electro Drag coming in. King's gone down, taking off a bit of heat. So the Electro Drag's, with its slow, slow, slow damage, uh, Basically, he's not getting wiped out because the king is doing that wipe. He's taking a lot of the heat off the electro drag. So the electro drag is coming now. Probably going to get one more shot off before it gets taken out. There we go. So we've got one lava hound coming in onto that air defense, going to protect the dragons that come down. Still got five dragons to deploy. There they all go now. Queen has created this nice little bit of a funnel over there. We've got the skeletons coming over for the queen. We've got the Stone Slammer coming in with the Lava Hound as well, again, as a little bit of extra distraction to help the Slammer come in. And then we have the Bat Spells going down. And of course, Bat Spells are pretty OP at the moment. And if you're not using them, well, you pretty well should be. Uh, and this is one way you can use them. I don't think Supercell anticipated that people would be dropping eight Bat Spells at the time. I think their anticipation was probably a little bit different uh, than what actually ended up happening. So you'll see here in the clan castle, when the, when this battle ends, you'll see the clan castle had an electro drag and a couple of balloons. And we've still got electro drag and two dragons up the top there. We've got a dragon down here, still balloons up. Heroes have gone down already. And look at the bat spells. We're going to have another look at this because I want to draw your attention to this section of the base up here. Uh, once all this goes down, of course, uh, and we see what the troop combination is. We've just been having a look at the troop combination, but uh, there we can see the electro drag with the two balloons in the slammer. Let's have another look at it. Have a look where the warden's ability is used to try and keep everything up. And then uh, because you've seen how it all transpired with the heroes down at this section, down at the bottom, the minions up uh at the left to help create a little bit of a funnel the electro drag obviously helping create a little bit of a funnel as well king and queen doing their little bit down here then the bat spells up the top uh, at the 12 o'clock position basically the base wasn't really going to stand too much of a chance 
The biggest threat, of course, was going to be the Eagle Artillery. So keep an eye on where the Warden's ability is used and how the Dragons are positioned. So the Queen's ability has just got used now. She's taken out a lot of this good stuff down here. All the Dragons are coming in. Electro Drag's going to do a little bit of a funnel job over there. And that'll just all come in, take out that Inferno Tower. Nicely done. Now, second Rage for the Dragons to get in there. We've got one Rage ready for the Bat Spells. Here we go. Rage for the Bat Spells. And there they all go. All the Bat Spells taking out all those weapons. The weapons just can't quite, can't quite cope with all of the destruction coming onto them. And then onto the Eagle Artillery. I missed pointing out the Warden's ability, but that's okay. Now, keep an eye on these Bat Spells. We'll just zoom in a little bit. Okay, all these bats. Take out the wizard. Take out the archer. Bang. Take out the cannon. Liggity quick. And this stuff goes down pretty quick. And now onto the storages. And it's like, hmm. What's going on with the storages? I know the storages have a good lot of health, but uh, seriously, they're not that much different than a cannon. And the bats just seem to be taking forever on those storages. So could be a little bit of a thing going on with Supercell. And the bats with storages. They seem to take out some of the other stuff pretty decently. Uh, but the storages, uh, I'm just wondering if it's sort of like the goblins do a little bit of extra damage to resources and things like that. And maybe the bat spells do extra damage. That's their favorite target to uh, the defenses and so on. Yeah, not really sure. I don't. I didn't see it in the patch notes. I haven't read all of the notes or, or been in touch with anyone else who's made these sorts of observations just to double check that is what's going on or is not going on, something like that. Obviously, the multi is a big threat to bat spells, and we've come up with a way, or some of the members of the clan are, are basically taking a free spell in to areas where they think there could be a lot of detrimental damage getting done onto the bats to try and keep the bats alive and I'm going to be having that in a video as well showing how the free spell has been working an absolute treat okay so as this winds out we're going to have the question of the day and the question of the day <laughs> the question of the day is this what do you call an ocean made up of orange soda what do you, soda as in a soft drink, fizz, fizzy drink. So what do you call an ocean made up of orange soda? You call it a fantasy. <laughs> fantasy. Fantasy. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Do like, do share, do subscribe and do comment on the video as well. And share this with all of your Town Hall 11 clan mates so that they can sort of get on track with this troop combo and possibly segmenting the base into quarters or quadrants uh, as well. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.